Welcome back everyone. We are exactly where we ended the last video. I did, I did a little spin, but that's about all. And today, we're going to be doing a quest, and that quest is going to be whatever the hell this shrine is for. Is for. Um, yeah, I haven't... I'm probably going to do the Fighter's Guild, but I figured, you know, while, while I'm right here, I might as well do, the, do whatever this quest is. So let's find out what's happening today. Molag Ball's Shrine. Oh boy. Uh, Molag Ball. May I, for a second I was like, Molag Ball? No, I was thinking of Mayroom's Dagon for a second. I was like, there's a shrine to Molag Ball? No. Molag Ball is also incredibly evil. Um, yeah. He, he's supposed to be the enemy in the Elder Scrolls Online, I'm pretty sure. Um, but, yeah. I haven't actually played, I haven't played Elder Scrolls Online, though. Or, well, I have, but I haven't really played a significant uh, amount of it. A mirror. In the shadow of the corruptor. The corruptor. Why do you come to this place? I just want some super cool, yeah. awesome item that I will probably get from him. All right, tell me about the Shrine of Molag Bull. What is your business at the Shrine of Molag Bull, the tormentor of men? Why would you pray to a god, the god who's literally known as the tormentor of men, bruh? Um, I wish to make an offering. If you believe huh. yourself worthy, present That's it. Molag Ball with an offering. The, the pelt of a lion. lion. That's, that's, been... that, that's all I need. Do not test. To summon the the torturer or the corrupter or whatever the hell this guy's name of you men. Have been told. I, I need a, a... You have been... I, I need a, a lion pelt. Alright, Molag. Time to go find me a lion somewhere. How the hell am I going to find a lion? Well, I have been able to find some just walking about. Probably a mountain lion. Maybe let's, let's, let's go to the mountains. Not that place again, though. I can't do that. Surely if we just walk around in the mountains, we should find a mountain lion. Oh, that's a spriggan. That's a, why are there spriggans and minotaurs over here? Nah. I ain't... Uh, fine, I'll beat you up. Alright. Alright, these are wolves that spawn here. A lion. One lion. I know I killed <laughs> I know I killed some on my way. A war. You know, maybe Molag Ball being the torture of men, maybe he's called that because, or the, maybe the reason I need to get him a lion pelt is because this is his version of torture. Because I cannot find a goddamn lion. Anywhere. Well, actually, while I'm here, maybe it's been a long, maybe it's been a long enough time for me to explore Weatherly. See what they've done with the place, you know? They did tell me to come back here in a good amount of time. However, it doesn't seem like they've done much. Maybe they have, I don't know. Hello What's again. up, Gilbert? What's going on here? A long last. Uh, nope, still disarray. Okay, well, good luck, fellas. Oh my god, I've been doing this for so long, I've leveled my mysticism up to 99. 99! I mean, to be fair, it was at 98 before I started, but 99! You. <gasps> About to, oh my god. That long last. That long last. God, that took forever. Alright, Moleg Ball. Let's go. Let's go talk back. Let's go talk to Moleg Ball. Okay, I brought you my offering, Moleg. Do you wish to offer a lion hide to the altar of Malay Ball? That I do. Another mortal come to do my bidding. Damn right. I only wish suffering and death. You oh, will that's lovely. Both. I hmm. want to see a man brought to the edge and pushed. I would love to see that. You guys listening? Y'all should be listening. Brindle home. A menace Batilius. An honorable man. He disgusts me. Then he disgusts me too, Molag. You will let him kill you with this. Uh, excuse me? <laughs> huh. As you are doing this for me, I'll save your miserable life. Huh. Uh, motherfucker what? Uh, yeah. 
better or save my life or we got problems, Moleg. The cursed mace, you say, huh? Uh, Brindle home, okay. Nice and close. Y'all got anything to say? The Lord Baal has given you the a task. The Lord Baal. Perform hmm. it well. Okay, that I shall. Uh, do you say anything different? The Lord Baal. Is... Baal. Blessed are you who has spoken to the corrupter. Ha have you guys all spoken to the corrupter? Oh, I mean, hopefully. If you're here, like, hopefully you would have done that by now. It'd be weird if you hadn't. Yeah, I'm just saying. What is this place? Huh. I really don't know what that is. Oh, that's a problem for later. There's oddly, oddly, there's a lot of, <laughs> of, uh, of, like, houses and shit in the middle of this woods. There's Weatherly, there's the little town that we saw over there, there's Brindleholm, there's whatever the hell that church placey, place thingy is. It's a lot of houses for the middle of the woods. Um, uh, Brindleholm. And also Brindle Farm. Oh. Hello, people. I've heard that Nord warriors are traveling. Don't they? What can I do for you? I know. Tell me, him, yeah, can you tell me about this guy? But I don't figure I need to tell you about it. Oh, why not? Give him that. I'm a good farm. person. I'm a good guy. All right. All right. Now, will you tell me about Millis Petilius? I know of the poor man. The poor man, you say? Hmm. Folks around here. hmm. There was no job too small for him. Oh, what a nice guy. Killed off hordes of goblins when they wow. attacked the town. Sounds like me, to be honest. Damn, all right. Why would that happen to now? Oh, that's Gone unfortunate. By himself. Hmm. Can you tell me more about his poor, poor wife? She was a good woman, and Mellis loved her as best he could. Hmm. He was off like we all do. A sudden fever, and she was oh. gone. Oh, that sucks. Don't think he ever forgave himself for not being there when she passed. <sighs> he swore then never to raise a weapon again. <laughs> he lives a uh, we got to get him to kill a us, huh? Outside of town. It's near where he buried Vena. I hmm. understand he visits her grave every day. Huh. Well, that's a lot of useful information we could use. Um, yes. Torbal. Alright, Torbal, enjoy your day. You. Oh. Alright. Good to know that. I got some horses around here. Alright, so it seems like this fellow, well, this uh, Petilius fellow, he used to be a great man, used to do wonders for this place, but that was all until his wife died while he was out fighting, and he has sworn to never pick up a weapon again. Our mission is to get him to pick up not just a weapon, but this cursed mace that Molag Ball gave us, and to uh, tempt him into, you know, killing us, and hopefully Molag Ball will... Uh, Resurrect us if we do, because if he doesn't resurrect us, then that's just uh, not good. <laughs> then R.I.P. the the one and only person who's supposed to be, you know, saving Cyrodiil from every problem it's ever faced. What is that? Is that Skingrad? Eh, yeah, no, we're not that too far from Skingrad. Decently far. Um, Dillis, Pat Patilius. Oh, still dressed in armor though. Leave me in peace. Can I sleep in your bed? No. Um, no. I would prefer you leave, friend. Please. Uh, can you tell me about yourself, senor? I am Melis Petilius. God, Leave you are so sad, dude. Oh, Lord. Vina. Can you tell me about Vina? I'm sorry, she was bud. My wife, and I would rather not speak of her now. I understand, I understand. Well, let's be friends. Alright, we're good friends. That's good. Um, well, they say he visits her grave every day. I'm not sure where her grave is. But, at some point, he should come out of the house. I'm guessing, yeah, it's probably going to be like in the morning or something. 
All right, we'll try 9 a.m. and then we'll just, you know, tick along each hour. Oh, there he goes. Off to visit his wife's grave, who died of a fever while he was off at war or whatever. Oh, and there's the grave. This is random ass gravestone. Here lies Vina Petilius. How you doing, bud? I would ask that you not bother me, especially in this place. Oh, he's got new dialogue over here, huh? Just leave me, please. Well, just in case if we do die because of my white ball, how do we tempt this guy into just activate that? I would ask. No. Okay. Well, activating that did absolutely just nothing. Me, please. Um, I feel like we gotta give him the mace somehow. See if we just. Oh, we can drop it. All right, let's drop it over here so we can see it, just in case if that doesn't work. All right, he's got his weapon. He has a weapon. You could pickpocket onto him, but I feel like that might be tough. I wonder if I punch your your wife's grave. Do you like that, bud? Do you like that? Oh, he look at his face, dude. Look at his face. He's just watching this in horror. <laughs> I would ask <laughs> okay that didn't disturb him just let me just punch him i have I, sworn oh. not to raise a weapon in anger but you have offended my honor in this most holy place prepare to die damn dude, dude. one punch hey yo i punched you one to that did a lot of damage <laughs> wait a minute that one punch did that much damage excuse me oh he might i might die er all right, let me take off all of my stuff, specifically the reflect damage, because that will kill him. All right, bud, have at it. Guy, I really almost killed this man with one punch. That was incredible. Oh, I'm still wearing. <laughs> Oopsie. All right, now kill me, bud. All this because I punched a man one time. I mean, and I also punched his wife's grave a lot. But he didn't—he didn't care about that part. He cared more about <laughs> about this. Oh my god, I have so much health. Come on, bud. I believe in you. You were once a great warrior. I punched you one time, and you almost died. How is that even possible? Even against a just a regular dude. Game's loading. I have, I have goaded Melis Petilius into attacking me with the curse mace. I have transported back to the shrine of Molag Ball. Well, all right, we forced, we, we tempted him <laughs> into into, uh, and we have tempted the man into killing another human being. What does Molag Ball want from us now? It seems you've accomplished the task. That I have. Well done. Another man damned. Alright, is that is that, is that it? That, that's it. But you'll still get your prize, won't you? I think it was worth it, don't you? That was all I had to do. Good work, little mortal. I I tempted a man into Molag Ball was pleased that I was able to corrupt the paladin. He has rewarded me with the mace of Molag Ball. Really? That that was it? That's all I needed to do there? Uh, well, what does the Mace of Molong Ball do? Absorb strength 5 points on strike and absorb magicka 5 points on strike? Yeah, that's, that's alright. It's not that crazy, if I'm going to be honest. But, it looks pretty tight with that. I would not want to get hit by that thing. I definitely would not want to get hit by that thing. And, does it do more damage than my current weapon? Oh, it does. It does, it does, it does. Does it swing faster? Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. No, it does not. It definitely does not. Okay. You have pleased, Molag Ball. I don't have. Blessed is the one who spreads the seeds of descent. Okay, right. Right, right, right. Praise be to the Lord Molag Ball. You have. Alright, yep, I, I get it. 
Now, praise be to the Lord Molagba. Okay. Um. All right. Well, that's another god that we a Daedra, Daedra Prince that we have helped out. But now, what happens when I come back here? First off, do these people have anything to say? I I doubt it. But maybe they do. Good day. You have nothing to say to me. Okay. But now, does what is he gonna think? This man just just murdered me. Like, did my body just dissipate in front of him? And he's like, bitch, what the fuck? Or, like, what's happening here? Is he just gonna be freaked out? Because I'm back from the dead? Hey, fam. How you doing? <laughs> no. You're dead. <laughs> I killed you myself. What manner of creature are you? <laughs> Will I be tormented with your image forever? Oh, God. Oh, poor. Poor Melis. No. You're dead. <laughs> I killed you myself. What manner of creature are you? Will I be tormented with your image forever? <laughs> oh, Molag Ball. I understand how you enjoy this. Dude, can I get that cursed mace back, side note? Hmm. Where is that cursed mace? I think the cursed mace is the mace that we got from. Is the is just like a terrible version of the mace that we got from him. Duh, do I put you out of your misery? Nah. I'm not gonna put you out of your misery. You're dead. <laughs> I killed you myself. What I love that he just think I will I be tormented with your image forever. <laughs> I love that he just thinks I'm like some sort of ghost that is just tormenting him. A ghost like from his past. Reminding him of the evil that he did and picking up another weapon. At least this, you know, at least, at least this time, he didn't, you know, um, he didn't leave his wife's side when he was fighting. He was, he was making sure to defend her. So there's that. Uh, <laughs> I, I really, I really wish that instead of, um, instead of pissing him off by punching him, I wish him doing that was like, kind of like a, he would respond by like, oh, please put me out of my misery. But that the actual way to piss him off would have been to like, just destroy his wife's grave. That, that would have been fantastic had the game implemented that. Just a small change to make it that much more terrible. But yeah, I died in this episode. That's very strange, but yeah, that, that is it. We have pleased Molag Ball and acquired his mace. His axe mace? I don't quite... Uh, mace, yeah. Mace of Molag Ball, right. Um, yeah, probably not going to use it just because it swings too slowly, but that's all right. But yeah, with that being said, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Damn, he's, he's praying for his wife to forgive him. That's so sad. I don't really care though. But goodbye everyone. Cause I don't wanna see the glow without you. Refuse to even leave my home without you. But my brain's gonna explode without you. I don't even know how to cope without you. Cause I don't wanna see the glow without you. Refuse to even leave my home without you. But my brain's gonna explode without you. I don't even know how to cope without you.